We visited the Makoi settlement in Yola and it was quite an interesting experience. It was very interesting to see how the women live. In they live in, in huts, raffia huts, very small raffia huts, covered with tapolin provided by one of the charities to protect them from the rain. Sometimes as many as 20 people live in these small huts. Imagine that, 20 people forced to live in a hut that's no larger than some women's shoe closets. Baby Binta was born in a hut that housed 12 people. Her mother was unable to breastfeed her because she wasn't nourished enough to provide milk for her baby. These are the dire conditions the women are living under. Despite the dire conditions that these women and children have to live under, it was really rewarding to see how happy the children are in the camp are. They were very welcoming and friendly and it was so good to see that. These are the women and children for whom we are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro for. They desperately need our support. They didn't ask to be here. Circumstances brought them here. Okay. We've just given out some essential materials for the women and children, some pampers, some biscuits and things like that, just for the children to be happy. But the whole thing behind this is that they need more. This problem is a real problem. It's not a northern problem and it's not just a government problem. It's a problem that affects everybody here. Yola is a lovely city. Scenic, calm, serene and the people are very friendly. But not too far away are people living in abject poverty in these settlements. It could be in anybody's backyard. Let's pull together to support and make a difference in the lives of these internally displaced women and children. Thank you.